We continue in our journey through Shmonese and we find ourselves at the end of the section of Hoda, the section of Shmonese which deals with gratitude. That section which began, We thank you, Hashem, for all the miracles, all of the great things that you do for us. In another beautiful section of that bracha, we say, Literally, again, and all living creatures will give thanks to you, Hashem. They will praise your name in truth. So on and so forth. And that phrase, all living creatures, everything that is alive, Yoducha will give thanks to you for all eternity, will express their gratitude. Because in reality, everything that is alive in this world benefits from the grace and from the incredible blessing of the Ribbon Shalom. There's nothing that is alive, be it man, plant, animal, which could exist in this world without the Reibon Shal Olam. And therefore in Shemona Esri we say, although we are the ones who articulate praise, although we are the ones who have the gift of speech, the Koach HaDibor, and therefore we could express our gratitude to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in a more sophisticated, refined fashion, every living thing in this world finds a way to express its appreciation towards Hashem. But I saw the Svarim bring down an incredible and beautiful insight. And they explain this phrase a little bit differently. The Chol HaChayim Yodu HaSala means, and let my entire life, let my entire life, Yoducha, give thanks to you, Hashem. What does this mean? You see, my dear friends, sometimes in life, there are things that we know. I know things. Intellectually, I know it to be true. Intellectually, I understand it. But that which I know to be true doesn't always find expression in my life. And the truth is, this happens to all of us. A person might say, learning Torah is exceptionally important to me. I know it's important, it's a value, it's a goal, but that person may not learn. Or a person might say, tefillah, incredibly important. But yet the individual might be on their phone the entire time during davening. We all live with these types of inconsistencies. Some person might say, morality is exceptionally important to me but yet I may end up looking at things that I really should not be looking at. These are the things that, but I believe it, in my heart I know that it's true. Meaning intellectually, I know what is good, what is not good. What I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. But the great challenge of life is taking your beliefs and translating it into lifestyle. Taking your ideas and translating it into dynamic activity. Not allowing my beliefs just to remain some esoteric body of thought, but to actually find expression in the way that I live. You know, it's an incredible exercise to kind of take a step back and ask yourself, if somebody were to look at a day of my life, somebody were to just look, freeze frame, one day of my life, would they be able to extract my value system by examining one day of my life. So imagine again, they get the video, they get the video. This is a Tuesday in Shmuel Silber's life. And by the way, it's the director's cut of the video, right? There's no edited footage. It's all there. Eh, it's all there. It's all there. And they watch the video of my Tuesday from beginning to end. If they were to then ask, okay, so what are Shmuel Silber's values based on what you saw that day? Would my life, would my day stand on its own? Or would they scratch their heads wondering, you know what? I don't know what this guy stands for. I'm not really sure what he believes in. I just can't tell, he might be a great guy. But if you're asking me to glean his system of morality, his code of ethics, his hashkafis, his beliefs from his actions, I just don't see it. And a lot of times in life we live with that disconnect. There are things that I believe in, but my beliefs don't always find expression in the way that I live. And our job is to bridge that divide. The Chol HaChayim Yodu Chasela. It is beautiful to express gratitude to God. It's very nice to say, Modim, thank you, Hashem. I'm going to thank you for all the miracles. Thank you for everything incredible. It's beautiful to live a life of gratitude with your lips. But more importantly, does that gratitude find expression in the way that I live? Because if I really have gratitude to Hashem, for giving me life, if I really believe that my heart only beats in my chest because the Kaddish Baruch Hu wills it that way, that means if God has given me that gift today, I have to do something dramatic. 
I have to do something important. I have to do something meaningful. And if I believe that my livelihood truly comes from Hashem, if I'm privileged, if I have money in my pocket, money in my bank, do something. Do something meaningful with it, not just to spend it on your own needs, your own concerns, your own cares. If you're privileged to have children, what are you doing to nurture those souls? If you're privileged to have a marriage, it's very nice to say thank you. Are you somehow nurturing and building that relationship? You see, expressing gratitude with your lips is very beautiful. But more important than expressing it with your lips is allow that gratitude to come out in the way that you live. That's v'cholachayim yodu chasala. We begin by saying, Modim anachulach, thank you, thank you. Verbal expression. V'cholachayim yodu chasala. I want my life to be an expression of gratitude to you, Hashem. I want my life to show that I know I'm aware of everything you give me. And I'm aware that if you give me a gift, it's because you want me to do something dramatic and beautiful with it. So I'm not just going to say thank you. I'm going to live thank you. I'm not just going to express thank you, but that thank you is going to be seen in everything I do each and every day. Don't just say thank you. Live thank you. Don't just live life with a beautiful set of beliefs, but make sure that whatever you believe in finds expression in the way that you live and in the things that you do. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.